So the Arc Genesis DLC Part 1 has not had one of the most smoothest launches that we've all hoped for. But in today's video, I'm going to be letting you know that it is now live. There's still some problems, but I'm going to be going through all the information you guys need to know while we go through the launch of Arc Genesis. Now, it's actually meant to be coming out in 15 minutes when I'm recording this on the PS4 and the PC. I'm going to be talking about Xbox because that's already gone live, but there has been some big problems. Now, as always, if you guys are hyped for Genesis, I know as I said, there is, is problems, but it's going to be an amazing DLC. Let's try and smash over 2,000 likes right now. Everyone, that would mean so much to me. Subscribe if you're new around here because that helps out the channel too. And have those notifications turned on because as soon as I get to play play Genesis there is going to be so much content helping you guys and obviously find out how to spawn things in showcases of the new creatures all of that stuff even a series is coming to the channel but let's get straight in with today's video now as you guys can see this was the most well it was like a tweet they put up like when we were wondering what was going on and when I read this again I was so scared because I thought no please don't delay it like another few days and they said we're anxious to get the Genesis in your hands but we've hit a snag while publishing we're expecting to an edit well an additional couple hours in the previously communicated launch times now for me this was really painful because it was half an hour before the time it was meant to be released and obviously now it's like two quarter past two in the morning for me and i'm going to be getting no sleep tonight i'm just wanting to get these videos out for you guys and i'm just so excited to try genesis i don't care about sleeping at the moment like it's going to be an amazing dlc but what we do know now, as you guys will see on the screen, is there was a new status saying we expect PC PS4 players will begin to, well, be able to begin to download Genesis at 6.30 p.m. PST. Now, obviously, that is half past two for me in the morning. So if you are in the UK, that is 2.30 a.m. if you're on the PS4 and the PC. Now, Xbox, the update went live and my Xbox is currently downloading it. But it was like some sort of wrong file that went on with it. And as you can see, they say we're in the process of getting non-Genesis Xbox servers updated and online. Xbox players will keep you posted to when Genesis has completed publishing and is available to play. Now, we don't really know what is going on because obviously there is the part of the Genesis, uh, uh, Genesis update within Xbox because people have finished the 50 gigabytes before it was 7 gigabytes and then people had part of Genesis on there. Then it was 50 which is what's installing right now and then some people have had more and been able to get on certain things and spawn certain items on but it still is really really strange what is going on right now but what I can tell you is that when you're watching this because obviously I have to edit this the PC and PS4 players will be able to have Genesis live right now which is fantastic but obviously hopefully Xbox gets sorted out as well now when obviously there was another tweet afterwards saying the Xbox servers are going online this should allow those who receive an update to get back on those without the update will need it to get back on so what he's saying is Genesis is kind of on the Xbox now um, so it's all it's all flying in loads of different directions we don't exactly know the 100% details but from this the Xbox servers have now been rebooted which means potentially you may have Genesis if you finish the update on Xbox I know it's a lot to take in right now guys I said it wasn't very smooth at all but at least I can let you guys know the update is live. What a crazy time. I just want to get on and play Genesis. In 10 minutes, I can go and start downloading it on the PC. Um because that's the main thing that I'm going to be doing. Obviously, you, you guys know I've always done like console videos and I still will show you how to spawn in things on console and PC and whatnot because that's what I'm going to be doing loads. But obviously, I want to do the series on PC because I enjoy it a lot more on there as well. Anyway, what I'll be doing for you guys is in the comment section down below, I'll be updating you as much as I can throughout this obviously whole situation. This is the most up-to-date information and I do not think this will change. Xbox, potentially something may change in between that but as I said I will keep you guys with all the information you need to know now what we're actually going to be doing as well for another part of the video right now is there are brand new screenshot 
was for a little bit of hype for you guys they i mean there was more um we got some new ones like in my video i did earlier but now we have even more to show you right now for genesis if you're waiting for it to download let's say it's like 50 gigabytes well, well we know it's 50 gig gigabytes but let's say you're downloading it right now and you want to see some stuff to keep you hyped for this they haven't actually got the new names of the creatures or the items they've actually got the tech hover sort of craft which um is meant to be that thing as, as you guys may, may have seen in my last video um if you go onto the community forums right now you can see some crazy thing maybe i can get it up for you guys right here if they've got the picture now they haven't got the picture for, which is really frustrating but you can actually see it on the um community forums but as we scroll down we will be able to see some of the new screenshots for this now i think this uh if we go past these ones those those were the old ones now this was the ones i showed earlier with the basketball um <coughs> the new sort of um um, biomes and stuff we've got another mini game there as I said if you want to see that check out my video I did last which is about six hours ago but this was one of the most up-to-date ones which I, I which I, you guys may have seen in the other video of the new sort of energy sword tech claw sort of things we then got this picture as well which was I thought was really interesting whatever that is in the sky um, and this is the lunar biome if I'm correct um, and apparently the lunar biome is very dangerous that's what um, the devs have been saying we've got another screenshot here um, which is of the blood stalker flying through the air like spider-man with the survivor there and I think you're gonna be able to control this obviously like riding a normal dino but being able to be a little bit like spider-man throughout the air um, this is a um, a cave entrance to some new bosses now this looks like these could potentially be the blade wasps um, I think they might be. I think that's exactly what they could be. I could be wrong, but um, you guys may, may have seen the Blade Wasps had a Mysterious Mysteries, and I think they look very similar to that. And this tweet, if you guys didn't know, was go. They was basically saying good luck on all your adventures against all these new bosses. And then there was a picture of this. So there's probably stuff we're gonna find out that we don't even know. Um, we've got this picture. It's a bit more of a landscape of the um, uh, of the volcano sort of area and stuff it looks like a bit of a swamp looks very very unhappy type of area um um you know it's not probably going to be my favorite but i mean i definitely want to get myself a magma sword tamed up for sure now this this is the one i was excited to see looks like it could be the tech cannon because it looks like it's got some grenades put onto it so maybe you can put that it's like a grenade launcher tech weapon and obviously he's firing it at a reaper that, as you guys can see on the screen there it looks cool, your little companion next to you, your new tech weapon. I like the biome as well. It looks so nice. I just want to get on and play. Like, this is just hyping me up so much. Like, being able to just get on and live this world and begin the journey. And I can't wait for my next commentary to be... Guys, welcome to episode one of Genesis. I am... I'm, I'm trying to hold on. I'm trying. Um... But, uh, but yeah, so then the next thing is um, the new fishing within uh, the game. Uh, so as you can see, this is the frosty or snowy area of Genesis where you guys will be able to fish and obviously use your fishing nets, which is a new thing put into the game to catch your food. Um, I think they got, we'll skip quickly from that one to again, a closer up picture of the fishing rod where you can actually like, um, it looks like you're going to have it on some sort of stick and then loop it and then throw it. Um, and I wonder if, I wonder if you you have to like aim at the fish or whether you will have to um at just throw it in there and it catches whatever goes in there i don't know but we will see that was something we'll find be finding out more information for and the final one is again a huge one this was again another post saying good luck on all your adventures versus the bosses and they have got the big boy weapon ready to prepare for a huge huge fight there guys i am so excited for genesis and these new screenshots are fantastic i cannot wait to show you guys a little bit more um, as time does go on but as i said the genesis update for the ps4 and pc is meant to be live in six minutes time when i'm obviously talking so get yourself on your ps4 get yourself on your pc restart it at around about one minute past the time go on to arc see if you get the update hopefully they stick to the time 
Xbox players, the best that I can tell you to do is just keep downloading the update you've got. I don't want it to break the game, but as what said has mentioned in here, he said the Xbox servers are going online. Th uh, this should allow those who receive an update to get back on, um, and those without the update will need it to get back on. So really, that what that means is, I kind of feel like it just means you have to up, like download it. My, I mean, mine's coming to fifty percent done on the Xbox, um, so it's going to take a while for me to get it done on the PC. But we will see. And that is all the information I can share with you guys right now. But good luck on your travels on Genesis. Um, whether you end up following me to my series and find out how it goes and you come back to the channel at any point. What I want to say is good luck with whatever you do. Whether you do official, good luck to you on official. Whether you start a dedicated, good luck to you and your friends or whoever you're in the dedicated server with on your journeys. And if you're just doing it single player, then good luck because you're going to need it. And I'm going to need it as well because by the sound of things genesis is going to be hard and i'm probably going to die loads of times when i as soon as i spawn in on the series but we're getting this done i'm hyped i'm ready genesis is here let's get playing we've all been waiting six months let's do this catch you guys in a bit and as i said if we could smash 2000 likes subscribe if you're new around here turn on those notifications and i'll catch you guys in my next video which should be episode one see you guys in a bit